Wrong button. <laughs> Hey, how's it going everybody? Flinger here, and today we're going to be talking about Scorched Earth in Ark Survival Ascended and where to find a whole bunch of the resources. I've been seeing a bunch of comments and questions about where to find all sorts of different things, so I decided to make a video about that. I've already done one on Ark Survival Evolved. If you want to see that, there'll be uh, that's on the main channel. But hey, if uh, you want to know where they're at in Ark Survival Ascended, well, hang tight. We're going to jump right into it. All right, one of the first main resources you're going to be looking for is metal, because that's just how you play the game. So where do you find metal? Well, the quick and easy ways are generally around any of the big giant mesas. So look around the map wherever you see the mesas. Go look around the um, bit of them, uh, generally. Um, the ones I've had the best luck with are the ones around uh, the uh, green obelisk. There's a mesa right here, there's a mesa right here, and there's a mesa right here. These ones right here are really good sources of metal. There's also a big giant metal mountain right up over there, and that right there is going to be another uh, really good source of metal. So generally, just go towards the mountains. They look like this rock right here. They kind of stand out a little bit, but if you don't know what you're looking for, you can easily skip past them. Oil nodes. As you get a little bit higher level, you will actually start finding um, that you, uh, you know, from the loot drops and stuff like that, that you will get uh, oil wells from them. So what you need to do, you need to find a oil vein just like this one right here. And uh, what you need to do is you need to set down your oil node on top of it or your uh, oil refinery or your... Uh, oil harvester on top of it and uh yeah just make sure you open its inventory before you walk away and then just after over time come back to it because it will just be constantly generating oil for you all right another uh resource that can be a bit confusing at the beginning is salt you'll need salt for things like preserving salt and uh you yeah, know so there you go this is what it looks like and once again it is usually found at the bases of the mesa this one is located right here on this area of the map and all you do is go up to it harvest it with a pick and you'll get a ton of it all right they seem to have moved around a bunch of the different spawns for different things but the easiest places to get crystal believe it or not is on top of the mesas yes i know i know right yeah it's a bit hard but uh, grab the Lamantry early on, tame one of those things, you get crystal up here. Also, you can find a ton of obsidian. You can also find it sometimes on some of the mountains, but the easiest places are on the very tops of the mesas because there is a lot of it to be had up here, and it's all over just about every top of the mesa. So, yeah, which makes uh, taming those Lamantrias early game very important. All right, you can also find oil from the um, little jug bugs that are floating around. Uh, look for the orange ones. The blue ones will actually give you a drink of water if uh, you go up to them. But also the, uh, the size of their abdomen will determine just how much they have in it. Ones with a full abdomen, you can get a full drink off of. Ones with a lesser abdomen, you um, won't be able to get as much, but you'll still be able to get some. All right. Next thing is silica pearls. Uh, here, let me show you. Look on your map, and wherever you see the blue water, the dark blue water, here, scroll in a little bit. This stuff right here, you will be able to find... Okay, kangaroo. You will be able to find silica pearls just about in these. Plus, also, there's a couple other spots right here. Let me show you. All right, right here, down here, this is what they look like. Right like that, silica pearls on the ground. There's also a couple more areas where I will show you where they're at as well here in a sec. All right, around the red obelisk right here on the map, there is a whole ton of them just laying around right on the ground. Silica pearls for days. All right, now if you want to get the black pearls, what you're going to have to do with that is go kill the... Uh, uh, the death worms out in the high desert, they will drop them. The alphas actually drop quite a bit, but the smaller ones will actually drop a few of them. So you can still get black pearls. It takes a little bit of a buildup, but then again, who would expect anything different for black pearls? Also, by harvesting up rock elementals, you can get crystal, obsidian, metal, oil, all sorts of different stuff. Stone, just a whole ton of different stuff. Sulfur out in the wild looks like this. Uh, you can find it for the most part uh, generally around some of the peaks. This right here, I found a rather steady stream of it around here. 
Uh, you just have to kind of just keep looking. Here, let me zoom in a little bit on the map just where you can see. This peak right over here, just to the east of the uh, Central River. There's also some over here in the top of the area up there. And, of course, we've got a sandstorm. All right, when looking for silk, what you want to do is look for these little purple flowers. You can actually harvest them just off the ground. These ones are a bit different. But yeah, uh, by harvesting by hand, you can get a little bit. Or uh, with, say, like a whip, you can get a little bit more. It's not exactly rocket science or anything like that. But you do tend to get a little bit more. I would say there is probably maybe a 1.5 or 2x multiplier when harvesting the purple flowers by whip as it is to harvesting by hand. It's not a lot, but it will get you a sizable amount of, you know, over time. All right, so yeah. Also, uh, to get the silk, you could actually take out one of the Lamantrias. And that's actually probably the best bang for the buck for getting uh, the more amounts of silk. All right, when trying to take out a Lamantria, the best thing to do is just bowl it. And then it'll give you this little fart bubble, bubble that will drain and kind of slow you down a little bit, but just shoot it. They don't have a lot of hit points. Okay, this one's got a little bit of hit. This one can take a beating. Give me a sec. There we go. And once you actually have it, harvest it with a hatchet, and it'll give you just a ton of silk and chitin. All right, now... Uh, these trees right here are supposed to give sap, but I haven't had any luck giving them. Um, honestly, this is the way it used to be in all, the old score store. There we go. There's some sap. So it's just a little bit harder to get than in the original one. And these are called the Joshua trees, and they're located right up around here. There's a whole ton of them right here so you can get sap but it's not nearly to the amount that you used to be able to get in the old um arc scort or survival evolved but they do get it so i was able to get five sap out of that all right scorched earth is actually the easiest map to get polymer uh you can actually just harvest up any mantis that you see and get a butt ton of polymer also, mantises, they're a great source of, like, electric prods and metal tools, stuff like that, because they can use them. So they pick them up and they drag them with them. So if you find mantis out in the middle of the desert and you need a bunch of polymer, it's just the easiest way of getting a ton of polymer. Scorched Earth has always been just the easiest map for getting as much polymer as you need. It's just everywhere. I mean, wherever you see a mantis, boom, there's a whole bunch of polymer. All right, and then over here at the blue obelisk, way up here in the very corner, I have had a surprisingly good amount of luck harvesting up this area right up here and getting rare mushrooms. Yeah, those, uh, yeah, these right here actually look like they have a surprisingly good amount of mushrooms in them. Just right up here. It's kind of cool. Also, another thing for resource gathering, I would recommend, uh, I mean, honestly, if you are needing to handpick things and you're a high enough level to actually craft a whip, just craft a whip. Whips are so much better than handpicking anything. Whips, just regularly smacking berry bushes, uh, silk plants, uh, rare mushrooms, rare flowers, everything. It will give you a ton of resources. Plus, also fiber as well you get a ton of fiber by uh harvesting up with a whip so just remember always have a whip on you in scorched earth it is super super important and extremely helpful all right and that should just about do it for just about every resource there is on scorched earth uh i would uh, recommend you search around stuff like that but that's what all of them look like and also that's generally where to find them remember uh some of the ones uh like crystal and obsidian and metal um and also sulfur you can find lower down on the ground but if you just want a quick and easy way of getting it fly up to the top of the mesa it's really really easy and then also, if you're looking for some quick metal, all the mountains generally have a rather high concentration of metal, but around the mesas, 
uh, is probably the easiest ones to farm up, especially in the early game. Later games, you'll find a whole bunch of really tight concentrations of them. You'll be able to build uh, refineries and stuff next to, uh, put down your industrial forge nearby, and then also kind of ferry them back. But also, uh, it just means that uh, having an Argentavis on this map is extremely helpful. All right, but also I would recommend getting a Lamantria early on for those early spyglasses and such like that. Uh, but also, remember, when you're gathering, always, always carry a whip when you're on Scorched Earth because it does help out a ton. All right, so hey, I hope these locations and uh, could help you out. So hey, if you haven't already, uh, make sure you hit that like button. If the video helped you out, make sure you hit the like button. Also, if you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flinger, and take it easy, everybody.